Right, here we go then. Today we are dealing with rotten bow thruster tubes. Um, the bottom of the boat is 10 mil, side of the boat should be 6 mil. I've got a feeling this has been done out of like 3 mil or something, this pipe. It don't look very thick. Um, so what's happened is, where they don't get um, blacked up and prepped properly, a lot of the times they just get completely ignored. Um, the water and the rot and that's got in there now it's developed a hole man come in the other day said i'm sinking need to get pulled out quick so what i'm going to do is um he doesn't want to put a new tube in i'm going to cut two circles this side another side i'm going to set them in just a little bit and i'm going to weld them up and we're going to decommission that tube so that's what we're going to do i've got some cardboard down here and a piece of wood um to aid me in making a template but first of all, I've got to cut off these studs, clean up this hole, then I'll use that bit of cardboard to make myself a template and then play with the new plasma cutter that I've been bought. Happy days. Let's go and get some tools. Oh, dog fight in the distance. Oh dear, look. Cutting. right hence the mask that doesn't very often happen in real life that they just completely break up like that but today it did these bits I think I'll just grind them out actually and um, give it all a good tidy up give myself a nice surface to work with and I'll be able to do the same on the other side and cut some plates really soft actually, I don't know how that can be. That's it, starting to look a little bit tidier. Knock this off. And uh, do the same to the other side. Sweet! Right, so there's the first stage. Um, I've got rid of the got rid of the threads that someone's welded on there. I've given it a bit of a clean up. Um, the plan's going to be now to cut a little elliptical patch of six mil steel to sit just below that edge, um, and then I can run around it with a couple of beads with the arc welder, I think. Yes. So there we go. Same on the other side. Right. I will give you a quick squeeze at this side, a little before and after. Um, it's quite a lot worse. Um, I suspect, I think surveyor or someone come around to look at this. I suspect the surveyor has chopped these off just to get himself up there. Um, he's probably got up there. I mean, there's no excuse really. If you've got one of them little thickness testers, a little ultrasound things, you can soon get up in there with a scraper. Scrape some of the old black in away if there is any. Or a wire brush or a bit of emery, emery cloth or something. And you can get a reading of that tube. Um, as you can see, these grills originally was bolt on, then it looks like someone's welded some on. Um, but yeah, there's no excuse. Black your tubes as well if you can. Get yourself, make a little cut of paintbrush up and a bit of tape and a stick and get in there somehow. I'm sure you can do it if you really try. Save yourself a lot of aggro in the end. Right, so there's the other side cleaned up now. I'm going to remove this piece of external ballast for him. I must admit, I did knock it off just now. Um, yeah, goodbye. Um, so yeah, that's all cleaned up now. Um, template time. Wow, template, template. Right, little bit of trial and error at this point. But I'm gonna bring you with me anyway. I'm gonna stick that on there like that. 
make sure that that's covered that hole. That's sitting on that chine. And I'm going to get this piece of wood, although I think a little hammer would have been better. Right, but let's continue. If I'm lucky, I should have a perfect template. And I've got a nice pattern here, which I can cut out now. I'll do another one for the other side. Um, and I can try them in the hole, cut them out of steel, six mil steel, get them in the hole. Starboard one cut out. Let's see if that works, shall we? Can't see any reason why it wouldn't have done. Right, so I'm round on the starboard side now. Um, hey! Let's just dug that around now. I mean, it's gonna be a little bit bigger. Oh. Yeah, so I'll get that cut out still and then I'll just sit here and I'll fetter it with a grinder. So I'm really happy with the way it fits in. Right, so I'm looking for a drop of six mil steel. Um, this is left over from the narrow boat that James built, I think. So I think that little piece there, that can come with me. Beautiful. Nice one, Jamer. All right, that's it. I've got me a bit of steel from the narrow boat that James built. Got it on my metal bench, my outside. Um, I'm going to go and get the plasma cutter that the yard bolt weeks and weeks and weeks ago and we haven't had a use for it yet so let's go and have a look brand new plasma cutter I won't show you that I'll do a little video of unboxing of this from eBay um, cut 50 um, yeah I'll do another little video of this unboxing and show you what's inside but this video will just carry on right so I'm going to lay this down um, and go for cutting it out just gonna freehand it, mind. And we'll see how we see how we fare. If I totally make a mess of freehanding it, I'll make a little template, uh, a bit of tin or something. There we go. Let's try that. Wish me luck. So after a bit of cutting, a bit of grinding, a little bit of metal massage, um, I'm pretty much where I need to be on the old template. Um, I've got two pieces here, I've ground them as one, worked them round in the vice. And, uh, two pieces, although they're very, very hard. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and test them into the boat. I'm gonna take the grinder and extension lead with me. They're gonna need a little tickle to make them fit in there and I can get on with welding them, lovely. Right, so after a bit of messing about and a little bit of fettling, I've made these, they do actually fit in the holes quite nice. Um, so I'm going to go and get a welder. I'm going to tack them on now. Here's one that I've just offered up. I've been using that magnet just to hold it. Now look at that, only on TV. Um, yeah, I've been using that magnet just to hold it. it fits in there quite nicely. Go around it a couple of times with a stick welder. Beautiful. Right, I've just done a couple of passes around it. I'll give it a clean up. It's probably going to need another one more. There's a couple of little holes and stuff in it. Although they won't go all the way through. Um, so yes, there we go. Right, so after a bit of welding, this is what we're left with. Welders out there, professional welders. Um, keep your comments to yourself. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, so yeah, same the other side. Bit of blacking. No one will ever know, eh? Goodbye bye, bow thrusters. You don't need them anyway. Right, so that's that side welded up now. Again, don't look too close. She's watertight though, I can give her that. 
Right, drop the black in. Um, I've only got this little round fitch, um, but that's gonna have to do. Lovely. I mean, it's all still very hot, look. Oh. Like tar on a road. Remember when you're doing all this that your boat's only as thick as the finished part. So if you've got a three mil, if you've got a three mil bow thrust tube, um, your boat's only three mil thick, isn't it? So beware. Check them tubes if you've got one. Next time it's out, just have a little check. Look at that, lovely. See, Pete, he's not blacking the whole thing. It's a bit of an half a job, but it was in just in for an emergency. So there you go, sir other side that's it other side I must say this side come out a lot nicer actually but it's going to be underwater strong is the order of the day and as well that's in a very vulnerable place for getting bashed so that's why I've welded it and welded it and then I welded it again and then then I welded it for some good luck after that so she's never she's part of the boat now so there we go, finish this off, go home. That's it. Job, the good one.